Defining a point force is very important in understanding how forces interact on a part. This has been made extremely easy by using the force definition. The user clicks on the force tool, selects the face where he intends to apply the force on, and then selects certain reference points defined along the profile. The next step would be defining a plane for orienting this particular force. Now the user can define a value associated with that force direction. Another useful feature uh, is once you define an analysis, let's say that you defined it as force definition and I know don't like this name so all I have to do is right click on it and hit rename and now I can say that this is force definition where we defined point loads. Now let's say that I was confused right at the starting how do I approach this particular analysis where do I define my forces where do I define my pin connections or bolt connections there is an advisor that's built into the tool. If I click on the advisor and hit on the start button it asks me for a few questions helping me understand and decide what should be my next step. I can get help on deciding the type of analysis that needs to be run or what type of interaction between parts or how to create a mesh and which type of mesh and further how do I define interaction between parts within an assembly. If let's say that uh, I, I jump in ahead and say that these parts uh, I do want to know that whether they deform too much and then I'm understanding how the structural load is going to act on it and the available plastics. Uh, this is saying that in the static analysis you need to create uh, a, a static study that you need to run on this and you need to define interaction between the parts that's all it's saying so that would be somewhere probably here where the load is being applied so it's a very comprehensive tool uh, especially for novice users who are trying to uh, get up to speed with the tool another very important feature is if you go jump ahead and try to define materials there is a built-in library of more than 20,000 materials uh, if you take a look at the different unit systems that can be followed, it's either SI or English or metric. So any type of unit system that you're comfortable with or also depending upon what type of information is available, you can choose that unit system. Now SI unit system is in megapascals and uh, that's very popular in some of the countries offshore. So if you do have teams offshore, it's very easy to communicate with them as you're talking to them uh, in the unit systems that those guys understand proficiently.